everybody, Mauricio Reynolds here, KenMcElroy.com Legal Advisor, and today we're going to talk about whether you should do a syndication or a fund. This is a question I get quite a bit and uh, wanted to address it in today's video. The first thing to understand is that actually a syndication or a fund are both securities offered. So a syndication just typically refers to a situation where you're actually buying a particular asset. So I call those project specific syndications. So in that model, what you actually end up doing is you end up buying the or at least getting in a contract with the property first, and then you put together the LLC and you're raising capital for the specific purpose of investing in that particular property. So you're actually able to show your investors what the particular game plan is with that particular asset. Here's my game plan, here's my value add strategy, my how am I gonna increase rent, how am I gonna increase occupancy. Whatever plan you have is gonna be very specific to the property. A fund, on the other hand, is kind of reverse. A fund, you actually raise the money first. I call these a blind fund because you're actually raising the money first into the LLC without actually knowing what you're going to be buying at the, at the time you raise the capital. Now, you're obviously going to have an idea. You're actually going to be providing criteria or parameters as to what you're going to buy, you know, real estate in the Arizona market, in the 100 to 200 unit range, but you're not going to actually have a specific game plan for specific asset. So that's the main difference between a syndication and a fund, but keep in mind there are both securities offerings and we have to comply with the securities laws, which as we've stated before in videos prior, you either have to register these securities with the SEC or you have to find an exemption. And typically the exemptions that I see on both of these are identical. They're either 506Bs or 506Cs. And so the answer to really which one you should do really depends on who your investors are because it tends to be a lot harder to raise money into a blind fund because your investors don't actually know what you're buying. They're literally betting on the jockey, meaning you as a sponsor, that they're gonna entrust you with their money, that, that you're gonna go out there and actually know what you're doing and go and acquire the correct asset, but they're not gonna have the ability to challenge your assumptions. With a project specific, an investor can go in there, they can look at your business plan, they can look at your underwriting, they can say, hey, there's no way you're gonna get these increases or those increases. I can actually underwrite the deal myself and make my own decision as to whether I think you're right or whether I think this is a good investment. But with a blind fund, you're literally going in blind. Now, again, it's much easier to raise money for a project specific deal. But if you can pull this off, if you've got the, the credentials, if you've got the track record, you have the trust of your investors that you can actually raise money first, obviously much nicer to have the money in the bank account prior to acquiring the property because then once you get into contract in the property, you don't have to stress about raising the money or you may even have an advantage because you don't have to go out and raise the money. You can actually show the seller that you've got all the money in a bank account and that's such a huge advantage these days. So the main difference between these two from a security standpoint is really gonna be in the business plan. All the other documents, the PPM, the subscription agreement, the investor questionnaire, which again are things we've talked about in prior videos, those are almost gonna be identical. The main difference is gonna be in your business plan because again, with a project specific or a syndication, you're gonna be actually show your investors in the business plan exactly what you're doing. You can show them pretty pictures of the property, you can show them what market you're in, you can show them what the current occupancy is and where your occupancy you're trying to get to, you can show them the current rents and show where you're gonna to go to the rents. You can have all the assumptions you have in there with a project specific and all of that is gonna go into your business plan or your pitch deck or whatever you wanna call it. Over here, you're gonna focus more on just fund criteria. Here are the parameters that I'm gonna use while I go out looking for a piece of property. So your business plan in a fund or a blind fund is gonna look very different from a business plan from a syndication, but they're essentially gonna be very similar for the rest of the documents. Now, there's actually a third type of syndication, which I tend to call sort of the hybrid which is sort of a combination of the syndication or project specific deal and the blind fund. And this occurs generally when really you have a blind fund, meaning you're planning to raise money into your LLC and then go out and find properties later uh, based on the criteria you've given them, but you've already identified the first project. And so that to me is a hybrid because even though it's blind, you are gonna talk about this specific property and you're gonna give all the same discussions you would give in a project specific, but then the idea is once I've closed on this first property, I'm gonna go buy property number two, three, four, five, and those I have not identified, but they're gonna be similar to the one I just bought and they're gonna be pursuant to whatever fund criteria I've provided. So those are the main differences between the fund and the syndication and it really boils down to your particular investors and what those investors are looking for. If you've got any questions, as always, leave them in the comments. If not, I'll see you at the next video.